around the NBA, there's been a handful of young, talented individuals that haven't quite been able to truly spread their wings. But all it took for this specific natural born bucket getter was an opportunity and he's took full advantage of it which has put the whole entire basketball world on notice. Now he's always had a crazy type of drive and consistent daily routine that was instilled in him from one of the closest people in his life. This is the Cam Thomas story. Cam Thomas was born on October 13th, 2001 in Yokosuka, Japan to his mother Leslie who was serving in the US Army. But after relocating in Virginia, Cam really took after basketball at age five and grew up idolizing Kobe's game. His mother was the first person to teach him how to shoot jumpers and three-pointers. And once he started playing organized basketball at seven years old, as little as he was, he was holding his own against the older competition and was simply a scorer since day one. And once his mother really realized that he was serious and wanted to go places with his basketball passion, she would be under the basket getting his rebounds. And while a lot of kids hired private trainers or had some type of male figure to teach them the game of basketball, Cam was getting all that from his mother. She created a 10 in a row rule for him. If he didn't do anything perfectly 10 times in the rec center, then he couldn't try that move in the game. And that led Thomas to gain a lot of consistency. And at the age of seven he won a contest making 33 free throws in a row but as a freshman while attending oscar smith high school in chesapeake virginia he averaged 24 points a game and was already standing out and offensively he was extremely polished but in his sophomore year, he didn't play because he and his mother just weren't on the same page as the coaching staff, which led him to transfer in his junior year to Oak Hill Academy in mouth of Wilson, Virginia, where he would form the dynamic backcourt duo with Cole Anthony. This would be one of the best teams in the whole entire country. Thomas would go on to average a team high 26 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists per game, but then went on to lead his team to a 31-5 overall record while standing at 6-4. That summer, he was named Offensive Player of the Year at the Nike Elite Youth Basketball League. Thomas averaged a league best 30 points per game as he played for Team Boo Williams. But as his senior season rolled around, he was regarded as a five-star recruit. He finished his senior year putting up averages of 32 points, six rebounds, and three assists. Thomas even posted 30 plus points in nine games, including two 40-point performances. Cam led his team to the Tournament of Champions title, but was also named Most Valuable Player. And out of all the legendary players that came through Oak Hill Academy, Cam finished his two years there as the all-time leading scorer with 2,219 points while being the fifth best ranked shooting guard in the class of 2020. And he had some big time offers from schools like Auburn, Kansas, LSU, and UCLA, just to name some. But he ultimately made the decision to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at LSU. From the time he first stepped foot on campus, he had something that a lot of freshmen just didn't have ingrained into them, like Cam. He had one of the most consistent routines and the head coach at the time Will Wade even stated, quote unquote, he was the most mature, disciplined freshman he's ever seen. He was never late, no matter if it was a workout or practice. He was always 20 minutes early, which was something his mom really valued and instilled in Cam. He led all NCAA D1 freshmen in scoring and posted one of the top freshman seasons in LSU basketball history. He averaged 23 points per contest while grabbing three rebounds and four assists. Thomas even posted 22 20 point games, which was the most 20 point games of any LSU player since no other than Shaquille O'Neal in 1992. When watching Cam play, he was a player who hit some extremely tough shots and not a lot of his opponents had a single answer for his three-level scoring ability. Thomas finished with the 13th highest scoring average by an LSU player in his history. And so after being named to the first team All-SEC, he was a projected first round draft pick. And on April 15th, 2021, he declared for the NBA draft, foregoing his remaining college eligibility. And this is where he would be selected 27th overall to the Brooklyn Nets. 
Now, even though Cam was one of the most elite scores in that draft class he was now on a team that featured three of the most dynamic scores we've ever seen which did result in cam getting moved down to the g league for a little bit playing for the long island nets but after averaging 40 points in just two games there he in a way became a go-to guy when Kyrie was unavailable and when James Harden forced his way out he finished his rookie season playing nearly 1,200 minutes in 67 games. He had some tough times at the end of the season but even with the rookie wall he hit he still had some big moments like when he carried his team to a crazy 28 point comeback versus the knicks he scored 16 of his 21 points in the fourth quarter including a dagger late in the final second he also scored a rookie season high 30 points against the utah jazz on february 2nd 2022 and scored 20 or more points 10 times he finished his rookie campaign averaging nine points two rebounds and one assist while shooting 43% from the field and 27% from three. In the 2022-23 season, with Kyrie and Durant back in the lineup, Cam really didn't see a lot of minutes, but little did he know a major opportunity to play big minutes would come his way. And as Irving requested a trade from the Nets on February 3rd and was later traded to the Mavericks, on February 4th, Thomas scored 44 points in a win versus the Washington Wizards. A couple days later, Later, he scored 47 points, but in a loss to the Clippers. Thomas would join LeBron as the two youngest players to score 40 points or more in consecutive games in NBA history. Cam continued his hot streak because on the very next night, he dropped 43 points in a losing effort against the Phoenix Suns. With him scoring 40 points or more, in three straight games that made him the youngest player in NBA history to score at least 40 points in three straight contests. He joined Allen Iverson as the only two players to do so before the age of 22. Cam Thomas is the perfect example of someone who truly waited his turn and really took time to learn and mature. But even when it seemed as though that he would never get the opportunity to put his skills on display on the highest stage of basketball, he just stayed positive, but always remembered the consistent routine and work ethic that his mother ingrained into him. And those are the things that have allowed him to be successful today. You know, it's the work I put in, so it allows me to, um, you know, take on these heavy, heavy minutes in, you know, because just being a competitor, you want to be in the game, you want to play. So when somebody keeps, you know, when the coaches keep telling you to stay ready, you're like, okay, but then you get frustrated after a while because you're like, I'm, I'm staying ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to hoop. But then, you know, you just gotta do your part, do your role, and then when your number's called, be ready. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cam Thomas story.